What I regret is that you found out. What I regret is getting pregnant in the first place so that you all feel entitled to tell me how to run my life. Leave Lulu alone. She's absolutely right. This baby is mine and hers, and we make the decisions. Don't tell me you agree with this abortion business. Uh, abortion? I haven't made any decisions yet, but you guys don't get to make the decisions for me. This is my body. My baby. Why don't you have a chair, my dear? You know, this, uh, this child that you're carrying may well be the last hope of the Quartermains. We lost Justice this year, and, and A.J. before that, and little Michael is as much a Corinthus in his heart as well as his name. But this child, the one you're carrying, is my last chance. Daddy's being dramatic. We will support you and your baby. The child will grow up with every advantage. So you want me to carry this baby for nine months and then just hand it over to you guys to raise as a quarter me? Well, there are worse things you could inflict upon a child. Please don't make this unpleasant. See? You're already making threats. And aren't you the reason why those defective condoms were on the market in the first place? You have no way of knowing it was the condom's fault. I should never have let you anywhere near ELQ. You are running the business and the family right oh, into the ground. Daddy, please, I told them to stay away from the boathouse. Stop, you said stop, stop you right now. This is between you and me, just stop. Look, you've both stated your cases, okay? Gr grandfather wants marriage and a baby. Mom wants a baby. I'm clear on that. I get it. Lulu and I, though, are the ones who make the decisions. Do you know that you've treated that little girl like a scullery maid from the moment she arrived? Oh, please. You don't even notice she's here unless she's stealing your Bentley. Oh. The Bentley. Speaking of the Bentley, if you want it, it's yours, Lulu, dear, provided you make the uh, sensible choice about the Quartermain heir. You cannot buy me, or my baby, or my future, and you cannot force me into anything. What? Out. Come on. Listen. Come on. Don't, out. Don't let her talk you into going along with this. You'll be a man go, about go, it. Go, Protect go, your child. Go. We're counting on you. Go! Go, 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 go! Thank you. I already know what you're going to say. I've heard it from Lucky, so go ahead. I'm an awful person. I'm selfish and impulsive. I'm Spencer through and through, and I want to wreck myself and anyone else who Lulu, comes down with me. I didn't what? mean to jump on you, okay? I just didn't expect... Abortion, man. That Wow, that sounds final. Well, don't tell me that you haven't thought about it. I've thought about it, Lulu, but I'm trying to do the right thing here, and I don't... I know I'm not the one who's pregnant, okay? I know what happens from here on out doesn't affect me, at least not physically. I know that. Well, I'm glad that you understand that. No, I, but I need you to explain it to me, okay? I need you to make me understand why you're considering what you're considering. You don't love me. We didn't plan this pregnancy. I don't want to be a mother, and if you are honest with yourself, you don't want to be a father. It doesn't matter what we want, Lulu. We made a baby. Which we don't want. As messed up as that night was, we still used protection. Yeah, and it didn't work. And now you're pregnant, and I'm going to be a father, and I, excuse me, but I, I want to be a good one. Okay. I get that. I get that. Your dad left you when you were a baby. Your mom dragged you all over the world when she wasn't dumping you in boarding schools. Of course, you're going to want a better life for your baby. But you are not ready to be a father. Not even close. And if you want this baby now, you are asking for history to repeat itself. Yeah, well, I know what not to do, okay? I, I live my whole life with my father not giving a damn about okay. me. I okay. All right, fine. Picture this. All right? It's a year from now. The baby is growing up here. And it needs love and affection, and Tracy's ignoring it, and Edward is hiring and firing nannies left and right, and you're feeling pretty close to the kid. And then you get backing for a movie. And all you have to do is go to California for six months. What are you going to do? Huh? Are you going to pack up the kid? Are you going to ask Georgie to babysit? Huh? And let's say that works out. And you get another deal, but this time it's in Europe. And the child is starting to walk. What are you going to do, fly away? Are you going to bring the baby with you? What about school? What if you're in the middle of finals when the baby says dada? What if you're featured in a New York film festival 
on the baby's second birthday. What about all the children that you wanted to have with Georgie? How is this baby going to factor into that? How? Oh, okay. Obviously, you've given this a lot of thought. Dylan, I have never been anybody's priority. Not like Spencer is to Nicholas, not like Cameron is to Lucky and Elizabeth. This baby is not going to be anyone's priority, except for the nanny, whoever she turns out to be. That is not fair. I refuse to let my child grow up believing that it is a mistake. Don't call it a mistake. You, Dylan, the condom failed. That means it's a mistake. So what about all your dreams? Are you willing to give them up just because you had sex with me a few times? Listen, you, listen to me. Listen to me. I'm willing to make sacrifices. A lot of important things are going to happen in your career in the next few years. Those next few years are also one of the most important things in a baby's life. Which one do you want to miss out on? Because you can't have them both. So why don't we just let this be over? Because you'd be killing our baby. And sir, is a life. He has eyes, a nose, and a gooey little smile. Spencer wasn't playing and either. And you know what? Nicholas ran like nine paternity tests, and Jax rigged them all, and Carly lied, and Robin told the truth, and there was a huge fight about it. But they all wanted the baby, and they were not teenagers. So what? So what? We made a mistake, and now we have the right to take away a life? Spencer is a life. What is inside of me are a bunch of cells that are just dividing really fast. A lot of genetic code that could one day be a baby, eight months from now. And I can stop that genetic code before it becomes a baby, before it's even close no. to being a person. No, Lulu, it's not that simple. I'm sorry. There are two people in this room. You and me. The baby is an idea. It is a maybe. I can say yes or I can say no. And I don't know what I want to say, but the more that I think about it, the more I think for everyone involved. I want to say no. We have no right to bring a child into this world that neither of us wants. So maybe the best option for us is to stop this process okay. right now. I, I understand what you're saying, okay? I, I really do. But the fact of the matter is, if you don't have this procedure in eight months, you're going to have a baby. Not DNA or cells or whatever you said. You're going to have a, a baby. Like, it could have your nose or that, that little pout that you do, or my shoulders, or my hair. Not that I wish that on anyone, but, but the point is, if you do this, if you have this procedure, I'm, I'm going to spend the rest of my life thinking about the fact that I created a child and never gave it a chance to live. But what kind of life can we give it? Okay, well, don't you think that... that a less than perfect life is, is better than no life at all? I mean, even, even if you and I don't want the baby, the, the core remains do, and isn't giving it to them better than terminating a pregnancy? I honestly, I don't know. Well, 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 well I, I, I've listened to your side. I, I, I hear it. Can, can you just... Can you just listen to mine yes. first? Yes. Okay. I, I know that it's your body, and I, and I know that it's your choice, and I, and I respect that, but, but I, am, I am the father, and I would. I would raise this baby. I really would. So that's an option. Giving it to me is, is an option. But what kind of life could you give it? I'm rich, Lulu. That helps. But you hate living in this house. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because... I still live here, and, and you know what, they're not, they're not that bad. I mean, Quartermains make mistakes, but we, we've learned from them. But what if we haven't? Well, I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, my career is really important to me, but I would make sacrifices. I'm not going to, I'm not going to abandon the kid like my father did, and I'm not going to dra drag him all around the world like my mom did. I, I can't provide a perfect life, but, but I can do pretty damn good by giving up or postponing all of your dreams i will sp i would spend as much time as i could with the child yes there would be a nanny but hey you know that's how all core remains grow up 
it's not a perfect life, Lulu, but it's a life and it's the best I can do. So I know you're considering the other thing, I know that, but consider this, please. I'm thinking about anything else. You get through to Lulu? There is a way to stop her if you want. <laughs> Why do I feel like a lawyer's involved? Our attorney has advised us that you could ask for a paternity test, file an injunction to stop the abortion, and then ask the court to take custody of the unborn child. What? Mom, that's ridiculous. How can you have a custody battle? She's like one month pregnant. I mean, it, it would get thrown right out of court. That's possible, but then it'll be too late to have an abortion. No, I can't force her to have a baby. Dylan, Lulu is scared. She wants the problem to go away. If we force her to slow down and think about it, she'll realize she has options. And once she realizes that, she'll fall in love with the baby and want it as much as you do. Dylan wants the baby. Even if the situation isn't totally perfect, he's still opposed to ending the pregnancy. There are worse things in this world than being brought up a quarter man. No child should grow up unwanted. But they do. My father vanished years ago, Lulu. I wouldn't recognize him if I saw him walking down the street. And my mom, she's in Texas taking care of my great-grandmother, and sometimes I'm shocked that she's not begging myself or Maxie to move down there with her. But that doesn't mean that I hate her, or that I hate my life. You see, I can't stop thinking about the day that my grandma Leslie dropped me off at the quarter months. We had had a huge fight, and she said that I was acting out for attention, and she would see to it that attention was paid. And we arrived at the quarter mains, and she and my dad went into the living room to talk alone. And I naturally listened at the door because that's the only way I find out about anything. And I heard my dad's voice. And he said that I was my mother's project. That he did not want another baby. That he never wanted me. Lulu, I am so sorry you had to hear that. Something inside of me shut down that day. I can't explain it, but something just disappeared, and I can't get it back. And I will never be that person that I was before I heard my dad say that he didn't want me. And I will never do that to a child.